understand. What's going on, guys? It's King Touch Pro, and welcome back to another Filmora tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use and add the overlays in Filmora. It's actually really cool and easy if you guys have never even heard of it. Um, I have reviewed this, of course on my first tutorial of Filmora. However, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with this, as well as the other uh, cool little tabs, such as the um, elements and the filters, and even the text. I'm also gonna be doing um, other tutorials that you guys want me to do. So just leave them in the comment section below. That would be much appreciated, or just uh, leave a like that uh, shows me that you guys wanna see more of these videos. So uh, that would be awesome. However, let's go ahead and begin with the video. So. We have this footage here. I know you guys see this a lot, but this is like one of my favorite um, videos to use. I'm also going to go ahead and detach the audio because I don't want to use the audio. I will leave a link in the description to where I have found this video in case you guys are wondering. All right, so we have the, we're in the overlays panel. Of course, uh, the, you know, these two little squares uh, united together. So if you click on that, you're going to be presented with the all. And this will just show you all of the uh, overlays in Filmora. Of course, you guys can download or buy more if you wanted to. If you go onto the Light Leaks pack, uh, this is the first pack that they have done, I believe. And you guys can push play and see how it looks like. And it also gives you a nice little preview with it. However, I don't think this would look good with the video, the one I'm using. But it can, uh, depending on what you're trying to go for and what video you're using. So we have the Lens Flare, and that is currently the one I'm using, the Lens Flare 2. And if you click on it and you push play, it gives you a nice little preview of it before you even apply it, which is nice. This one looks really cool, so I'm gonna add that to it. So I'm gonna drag that down, and you're gonna be put you're gonna be putting it into the uh, overlays right here. And this one's the filter. It doesn't really matter which one you put it in, but you gotta make sure that the video is on top of those layers, or else it will not work. So we go down to the next one. You guys can go through all of these. I'm not gonna go through all of these because. Uh, you know, you can, you guys can do that on your own time. I don't want to, you know, take too long with this video. And here is the Christmas one. Usually the updates are at the very bottom. So if you click on one, it shows you the preview of it. It looks super cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we have this right here. Now, if you push the, uh, the play button, you have this right here. And it does kind of play a little bit slow because there's a lot of stuff happening. And we have the lower third that I added. I'm going to show you guys how I got that right now, but we just add that there. It kind of colorizes the video for you in a way. Um, you can't really do anything uh, except to change the amount of strength. So if you double click on the filter inspector, it brings you the effect properties and you can lower the amount, uh, which is nice. Uh, they call it the alpha, but if you do like 50%, it will lower the amount. Um, you can do that with this one as well. So it will it'll just, uh, you know, decrease the amount, as you can see there, for that. Um, so that's pretty cool. How I got the lower third is actually really easy. If you guys go to the text and you go to lower third, click on the lower third, and you're going to go on to lower third one. Well, that's the one I added to. So I just add, I just click and drag it to wherever I want, and then double click on the video to change the text. You want to go ahead and move this little cursor where you can see the text. And just click and highlight and then type in whatever you want. I just typed in Ocean Avenue. Now, if you want to change the font, just go ahead and highlight the text. Go to the top under the tile inspector to change the font. They have some pre-installed ones, which is really nice. And now I have this. So if I push play on or the space bar on my keyboard, you will have this playing here. And that looks really nice. Of course, you guys can add music to the background. So if you found this video helpful in any way, please leave a rating below. That will be much appreciated. Comment down what you guys want to see next on my next tutorial. And I will catch you guys next time. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.